All right, so I got another video for you today. Um, it's been a while since I've made a video. You know, we had the holidays, Christmas, New Year's. We also, at one point, had a lot of rain, snow melt, creeks were really high, and they're really just now getting back to normal levels. Um, also, uh, not that you care, my wife for months said, hey, we just got married, you know, we just bought our first house, we should get a puppy, and I'm like, you know, maybe we're gonna have kids soon, maybe a, a, a puppy isn't a great idea. If you're married or if you've been in a long-term relationship, you probably know who won. So, also had a puppy come along the last couple weeks. We love him, half black lab, half German shepherd. He's a thoroughbred, he's great, but I mean, he's peeing on everything, crying at night, you know, we're getting him into obedience training, you know, we're trying to, trying to do all the right stuff. Anyways, anyways, you don't care. Point is, today I have a couple hours. We're headed to um, Big Spring Creek. Uh, I'm not going to go into a soliloquy about Big Spring Creek. Everybody knows it has um, big wild rainbow trout. It's got sizable uh, native brook trout. So the plan is there's a middle section which doesn't have any specific regulations. We're going to fish that first, maybe for an hour, run and gun with my spinning rod, you know, throwing uh, big spinners, throwing plugs, trying to trick one of these big wild rainbows into hitting. And then we're actually going to go to the fly fishing only section near the headwaters, which I think is like a mile, mile and a half. Um, that's where a lot of the brookies are more prevalent, the native brook trout. And uh, we're gonna fly fish. Yesterday I got some scuds, which I guess are just like freshwater shrimp. Really, I'm, I'm quite a below average fly fisherman, but we're definitely gonna give it a try today, see what happens. So I just got out to Big Spring. I'm actually gonna fish a section I have never, ever fished. Um, this is kind of even below the middle section that I normally do fish. Water's looking pretty low, pretty clear. So with my spinning rod, six foot St. Croix, and a nice Shimano, uh, a nice Shimano reel. Um, I hate like talking to my GoPro when people can see me. Um, we're gonna have to bomb some casts out. <clears throat> but today it is, um, it's in like the mid 40s. It's a little windy, which sucks, but it's not terribly cold. I tried fishing a couple freestoners recently, and yeah, uh, fish are hunkering down. Water temps are just too low, but some of these spring creeks may fish a little better. Um, I definitely don't want to get on private property. I'm not seeing any signs yet, but I think right here is where we're gonna start, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, Big Spring's looking a little low, even after all the snow melt. Damn it, don't get stuck in that tree. <laughs> First cast, you son of a gun. All right, we got it back. Nice brown, wow. Surprised to see a brown in here, but we got him. Awesome. All right, let's get the hook at him, take a look at him. That's sick, nice wild brown. First time I ever caught a wild brown in Big Spring, awesome. All right, awesome. Very, very, very early on, we got a nice wild brown, which again, I've never caught a wild brown on Big Spring. It's mainly known as a native brook trout and wild rainbow trout stream, but I mean, that's that's as brownie of a brownie as you're gonna be. So as always, call me the mayor of Brown Town. That's pretty sick. We're gonna get him right out of here. He's a good size. I'd probably say 12, 12 14 inches, something like that. Nothing crazy. He's got big head though. Holy snakies. That's a sick trout. We're gonna get him right out of here. That's a real sick trout though. Real sick trout. We'll get you right out of here, bud. So because of all the silt, there are these sections where they have rocks that sort of jut out into the stream. It's not only there for, I think like stream stabilization and stuff to keep it from widening, but it's also good because it allows you to get out a little bit further on the stream than you otherwise would be able to. It's super shallow in here. There are no fish, but there's this one little channel right here, which I significantly overcasted like a dumbass. Thank you. 
so sorry. I completely missed getting this on camera. Um, just got a nice wild rainbow. So let me get the hook out of them and we'll we'll take a look at them. Hold on, actually, barbless hooks. If anybody never watched my videos, all my hooks are barbless. I'm just like a super ethical, super ethical spinner fisherman. Anyways, so let's take a look at this guy to climb. Might even be a female, who knows, but that is a wild bow. They do not stock rainbows in here. Um, so that's pretty sick. So let's get this, uh, get this fish right out of here. That's pretty cool. Mm -mm -mm. That is a nice, nice wild rainbow. That's pretty sick. Got him right in this orvis net that we were forced to buy. So let's, uh, I'm not even going to tuck him. He's like, he's kind of like weirdly plump, he or she. So a lot of vigor. We're just going to, just going to plop him right out of the net without even touching him. All right, so I probably shouldn't even say what I'm about to say because it's bad luck and I might piss off, piss off the fish gods, but we did get like a 12 inch wild brown and we did just get a nine or so inch wild rainbow. I know in the headwaters, there are brookies. So essentially what I'm saying is, I'm gonna try for a trout slam. So I'm gonna work my way back up, probably fish for another 10 minutes with my spinning rod. And then the rest of the day, we have another hour or two. I'm gonna go to the fly fishing only section. I'm gonna plop on uh, like a scud, unless they're like hitting midges on the surface, which I haven't seen yet. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna, nice old farmhouse. Well, we're gonna plop on a scud and we're gonna try to catch a freaking brookie and get a regular old trout slam on Big Spring Creek. Real sick, real sick. Somebody left uh, part of their car. That's kind of kind of a scummy thing to do, I would say. So I'm at the ditch area. This is kind of like, you know, the famous blah, 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 whatever. Don't care. Um, this is kind of the last section of uh, unregulated water. Um, so ahead of that bridge up there, it's, um, I believe, all fly fishing only, which we are going to go do. Um, but I wanted to try right in here, just in case there's anything lurking. Probably is not. We're gonna see. No regrets. No regrets. All right, so really quick update. The day that I caught a wild brown and wild rainbow trout on the uh, Big Spring Creek, um, I did not catch a brookie. I tried for like a half an hour. The fly fishing only section was pretty packed. It is later in the week. Um, it's actually February 28th, the day before the dreaded March 1st when you cannot fish stock trout waters. Anyways, um, as you can see earlier this week, we got some snow, it is now raining. Um, I'm going back to the fly fishing only section. Although it wouldn't be a true, true real deal trout slam because I'm doing it, you know, like five days later, it is the same week. So I'm gonna count it. So the plan is we're gonna go up to the fly fishing only section. All right. so. I'm at the very top of Big Spring Creek. This is like the last stretch, the middle parking area where I really wanted to go. There were actually some fishermen there, if you can believe that. Um, it is really pouring now, which sucks for me because I'm getting soaking wet, but it does help for the trout. So with the next 15 minutes, I think I'm gonna cast downstream instead of upstream and just sort of drift this zebra midge um, in front of some trout. And again, hopefully, even if we just caught like a four or five inch brookie, that would complete the trout slam, a brookie, a brownie, and a rainbow on the same stream within the same week, not same day. Um, so yeah, uh, give me a little bit of time. I'm gonna hit this stretch, drifting this uh, little red zebra midge down, and we'll just see what happens. I'm just standing right on the edge. Got this little teeny tiny red zebra midge. Just kind of drifting it through the water. There is no way. I mean, I'm wearing like a chartreuse, super bright, obnoxious raincoat, but I don't think these trout are gonna see me. My biggest fear is getting stuck on something because I don't have my waders on and I will not be going in the water for any reason. Um, but yeah, I apologize about probably the crappy picture quality here you try casting it out again I'm trying to cast to like the other shore just like that so let's just drift this down a little bit it's a teeny tiny zebra midge I don't even even know if they'll be able to really see this in the water but 
I think this is my best shot. Just got a fish. What is that? What do we got here, boys? Oh, we got a brookie. Oh, we got him. Woo! -hoo -hoo. We got him. Let me get the hook at him. We'll take a look at him. That is a beautiful Big Spring Creek brook trout. All right, this is awesome. We just got a Big Spring Creek, probably six or seven inch native brook trout. Beautiful colors. I don't know if you can see these colors. Again, I apologize about the rain. But uh, yeah, we're going to get this fish pretty much right out of here. Let's take a look at him. That's a trout slam right there. That's a beaut. Look at those beautiful colors. That is so cool. Let's get him out of here. Right back in the water. He's out of here. Awesome. Brookie on Big Spring Creek with, with the fly rod. That's sick. Awesome. All right, so as it's pouring rain, let me quick wrap this up. So over the course of two days, we did fish Big Spring Creek. Initially, we fished the middle section, which is all tackle. Uh, we got a wild brown trout and a wild rainbow trout. And then a couple days later, after some snow and some rain, we did manage to get a native brook trout. First fly fishing fish I've caught on Big Spring. Really awesome. Uh, it's super cold, super rainy. I need to go home and just like throw everything in the dryer. But <clears throat> that's all we got for today. As always, thank you for watching and hopefully we'll catch some more fish next time.